Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today's video is going to be a book review and it is on the book Outline by Rachel Cusk. First up I'm going to give you the plot of the book and then I'm going to get into my thoughts and feelings. So this book is about a main character who we have no idea who this woman is. She's going to have 10 conversations within the book with 10 different people and through those 10 conversations we find out who she is. So what we know so far, at the beginning it starts and she's on an aeroplane. So she talks to the man next to her, where are you going? Well, I'll tell you where I'm going. And she's going off to Athens to do a creative writing course because she's an author. So she gets to Athens and she meets up with another teacher and they talk about their life. And then she meets up with the students and they talk about their life. And it's all the different people that she meets. Some of them are complete strangers, some of them are people she's got history with. And it really is a series of 10 different monologues. Each person she meets just talks about themselves endlessly, goes on about their marriage, my first marriage, my second marriage, my children, my job, and they go on and on and on, and you get nothing about her. She doesn't, she's not someone who really interrogates them, they just talk so much about their lives. Well, let's get on to my opinions. I bloody hated it. <laughs> there you go. Not for me at all. I, I don't know anything about the main character. We've finished the book now, right? And I know nothing about this main character. I know about all those 10 people. Some people's life stories were more interesting than others. Some of them were just observations within life, which I've heard in other books and other things, and about like men having affairs and women feeling left behind because they've raised the children and now the man's got like it's been in, done in other books, but it wasn't done in a way where you really felt you were immersed in the other person's story. They were just telling you everything. Let me tell you about my life. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm not going to transport you back into that time and we'll go back down memory lane. It wasn't like that. It really felt like a play. Like it was 10 different people doing a monologue. It's like I used to do musical theatre. Can you tell? God, I bet you're surprised. And we used to do these kind of like festivals. So each one person would have a different monologue and then it'd be judged by a group of people and it'd be like a drama festival. So you'd have 10 different girls coming on saying 10 different long old monologues and each of them might get a little certificate and stuff like that. That's what this felt like. Nothing matches in together, nothing ties in with one another and our main character, we learn nothing of her. We learn snippets of information but nothing really that you could take and grab hold of. Now. I think the idea of the book is that all these different people and their different lives, it's an interesting concept and our main character is very, she's anonymous to everyone within the world, she doesn't let them close to her because right on the last page, she said, I went on holiday before to Athens with my children and our flight got delayed so we ended up staying an extra week and we weren't supposed to be in Athens because we were supposed to be back home and everything so it felt like we were invisible and so that line obviously sums up the book she wants to be invisible within life something's happened to her we know that she used to be married we don't know how that broke down or what happened there and now she looks after these children who they're always like phoning her like mum where's this mum where's that um, and she's a teacher so she's trying to keep things together there but we don't know any source of any of her problems. We don't know the people that are involved within her problems within her life. Oh God, like I really, I was reading it. I was thinking, oh my God, Hannah, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. But reading is for enjoyment. That's what the point is for me. The point is to enjoy it. So if I don't read, if I don't enjoy it, then there's no point reading it. It just went on and then like I said some people's stories were more interesting than others so it's very hit and miss with the stories some people's were just dumb so in her creative writing class she was getting them she was like oh tell me things that you've seen today so one person would say I saw a bird and I saw a duh, and I saw a duh. nothing meaningful within that you could take whatsoever there were a lot of stuff like that where I think it was supposed to be more profound but I'd heard those same ideas and concepts in other books so like, you know, a woman feeling like she has had children and she's lost her own identity, who is she now? I've heard that in other books kind of done better than this, than a woman just saying those words. Also a lot of it felt very blatant. So people were saying, I feel this way, not showing you. And I think personally, great storytelling is when they show you the plot instead of saying, we are going to the shop. 
It's like she walked down the road and turned. There was the shop. You know, I like a lot more description within it. And I think on the last page to put with that whole invisibility thing. Oh, like, couldn't you have shown us that? Did you have to just say, don't, I'm ranting. Oh, this took me such a long time to read. There was two Friday reads I did on this channel where I was talking about this book, talking about how it was so slow and slugging on. This is a trilogy. This is the first book in a trilogy. Oh God, and it says, it says, a masterful trilogy will remem be remembered as one of the most significant achievements of our times. Oh, the first book in a trilogy for me has to capture me. Uh, the writing or a character has to get me to get me to read on. Obviously I'm not going to read on. I thought it was interesting how she met certain people and they tell her so much about themselves because obviously she was a warm person and also I think there is a certain um, you open up more to a stranger than say your best friend on certain stuff because if you've got something going on in your life you might think oh, I don't want to tell my best friend because she'll say I told you so or she'll go and tell the person it's about or she'll judge me in some way because she knows the whole situation whereas if I want to complain about someone and I'm sitting on a plane and I'm sitting next to a stranger I might open up more because there's no consequence of whatever I say it doesn't matter because I'm never going to meet this person again so I liked that kind of concept of it of people that she you'd never meet again would open up more to her but there was just weird bits like she was doing this creative writing course which people have chosen to go on this course and they were all a different mix of ages and everyone's saying their little stories and then someone says you're a lousy teacher I'm gonna complain I'm not coming back and it was just like people don't talk like that people don't talk that directly towards each other like that all the time you talk to her maybe after class and say I'm not really enjoying this creative writing but to just it was so bizarre, so blatant. And that thing with the invisibility was so blatant. Now, on the back of the book, there is a whole load of fantastic reviews. And there is one review which I think sums up exactly how I felt about it. And that is, material, meaning the book, that might have been ponderous in other hands is here magnetic. And then goes on to say how great the book is ponderous is how it was in my hands and that comment is so sass because it's basically saying some people won't be intelligent enough to read this book they'll think it's just a series of little short stories and it's ponderous and they won't see the deeper meaning what well, I thought it was ponderous sorry I didn't see the deeper meaning <laughs> there you go like I would never pretend to be more intelligent than what I am be like oh no I I totally got it because I know this book is really hyped by like critics and they say oh wow it's so great how these different people interact with her and it was smart the way she laid it out the way the different characters crossed into her path and started speaking about their lives that was smartly done but it wasn't enjoyable it wasn't something that I'd pick up again <laughs> Ranting! Ah, oh, it wasn't something I liked at all. And I just, yeah, I think there was deeper meanings within like certain stories and people, you know, feeling like they've lost themselves to their children and other stuff like that. Definitely deeper meanings, but I've heard them all before. I don't need to hear them reiterated and done in such a blatant way. Not showing me this emotion, like in the um, the Awakening by Kate Chopin, great book and she's kind of losing herself and she's just a mother and a wife but she doesn't really know who she is as a person. That's done really well because she never blatantly says that, it's just shown through her actions, it's just kind of going into this madness. Whereas in then it was saying, I don't know who I am anymore. It was the blatantness of it that I just did not enjoy and I really thought there was going to be something massive at the end <laughs> to be honest with you I thought we were going to find out right at the end what her deep tragedy was when did she split up with her husband is there something going on there what's that about she was also trying to get a loan what's going on with the loan I thought we'd find out at the end that's why I carried on reading it and it just came to nothing the end final page I'm not even joking it was on the last <laughs> page was the line invisible and I thought well you've told us something yeah you haven't shown us anything I'm gonna end it there <laughs> because I don't want to rant on sorry Rachel Cusk I'm sure you're a lovely woman but I, I didn't get your book to be honest with you. I'm not gonna pretend I did and that is it as the sirens send me out I will see you again soon for another video